Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about event binding. Now we talked about data binding before, where you would get an, uh, two objects that would have the same characteristics. And if you changed one object value, it would take the, it would automatically get inserted into another object's value as well. Okay. Now we're going to actually bind an object to the event. All right, so you remember what events are, right? So when we talked about events, we would say um, a variable A equals query selector, the ID of this input, and then it would be A dot listen. So you'd open up a stream um, and, and you would, you know, create all of these events in the Dart code. Here in Angular, we're going to make the events as part of the elements themselves. So you have characteristics, set characteristics that you as a developer can set up where you could say the user can click on it, can do this, can do that, but, but it will be up to you to determine what those events are in this template in and of itself. And it makes it a little bit easier to read and a little bit easier to predict as well. Okay? So um, the syntax for that would be parentheses. I'm going to say click equals, and I made a method right here. Good job. It's going to change the greeting right here. It's going to change that value to good job from good morning. Okay. Notice it's inside the class. If you have a function outside the class, not going to work. It's not going to see it. It only has to be the, um, in the class following the component itself or the template itself. So click, I'm going to say good job. So what should happen is if I click on this, again, that's just the syntax. By the way, you could use this also. Remember before with the value, we said bind dash value. You can also use on dash click. Um, I think I mentioned before that that was the classical or conventional way or something. Um, I was looking at the, the text again, the documentation, and it says it's the canonical way of doing things. I have no idea what that means, but again, either way, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. Remember, not the brackets, it's going to be the parentheses right there. Okay. So this object, you can click on it and it'll go good job. And I click on it and it changes to good job. Okay. So um, when I was messing around with this, I changed this into a text. I'm going to change it to a button. And that's how easy it is to change these elements, right? Press me. Good job. Okay. So notice again, by simply changing the greeting, it automatically gets pushed to change the inner HTML greeting value to say good job okay because originally it said hello there then it was changed to good morning right here then it was changed to good job after you clicked on it okay so a couple of things what else can you do about something like this so the click in and of itself you could have done on click um good job what other options are there where you could do something like on so so all of the events that you could do in HTML, you could do here as well. So on change, I'm going to say this is going to be type equals text, I think you'd have to say. So if you change something, and you click away from it, good job, you could do what other events are there, I think mouse over. So if I bring my mouse over, good job. You notice that again? Okay, if I bring my mouse over, and there's on key down. Um, so a bunch of other things that you can actually do with this. Building it in there. By the way, I don't actually know the answer to this. So what if I did um, click... equals 
good job. So if I did two different options, okay, so click or change. Um, or change, I think that would have to do it. Um, oh, wait a minute. So can you have two events? In other words, is my question, I actually don't know the answer to that. I just thought of it right now. So, Okay, so click and I'm going to say on mouse over. So click clearly worked, right? So click clearly worked even though there was another event behind there. Let's just see if it just looks at the first one itself. So, no, it doesn't. So you can either mouse over it. So you can have multiple types of events right here so, um, uh, and going to probably different, almost certainly, different types of methods themselves. All right, so you can make this as simple or as complicated. And notice how easy it is to read. I could just look at the HTML right here. I don't, I'm going to do something about the spacing here, by the way, next video. So, so I, I could just look at this itself. I don't have to, leave, I have to go from different page to different page to make sure that it actually is working. I could put it all here. Of course, I can put it on a different page if it's easier, if it, this is huge, a massive mess, but that's my choice um, to make it easier for me as the developer. Okay. So I think that's it about um, event binding. And let's keep going. Thanks.